Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Beauty with Kat and today I'm here to give you guys another wig review. This wig is coming from Outre and she is from their Airtide collection. She is in the style HHB Dominican Curly and she is 22 inches. She is also in the color DRST2 Chocolate Caramel. So that is the inside of the unit. This is what she is giving straight out the pack. No plucking, no anything y'all. This is what she is giving out this pack and yeah i was kind of skeptical but i promise y'all keep watching it's definitely worth this entire tutorial and review so right now i'm already seeing that she is very full so i decided to kind of give her like shorter lengths in the front to kind of frame my face just a little bit but also i did want to chop her off as well so i decided to go ahead and cut her down i probably cut at least about four inches off I am using the Nairobi Bowman Mousse to kind of get those curls snapping back. This wig is human hair blend, so that was actually pretty cool. I really loved how once I put that mousse on, because y'all know how synthetic curly wigs, like once they tangle up, baby, they're gone. They're gone. This wig, however, once I put that Nairobi Bowman Mousse on, she definitely snapped back. At first, the color was not um, my fave until I cut the layers, until I cut the length off, until I kind of like did my own customization. And baby, this hair was beginning to eat. So what separates this wig from any other wig or curly synthetic wig that is out on the market right now is basically this wig comes track free. She has this breathable mesh cap and she is extremely lightweight. So I also decided even though she comes pre-plucked, I decided to go in and pluck her more. My liking, in my opinion, if you want to keep her uh, in its natural state and how it came out the box, you can. This HD lace that they have is very soft and it's thin. And she does have a 13 by 6 lace area as well. She does take some heat in. So if you want to use her, use her at the lowest setting. One of my pros that I can say about this wig is how these curls bounce back. You will see that they got a little tangled. You did see that they were kind of losing this curl until I put product in it. She kind of acted like she was human hair, period. I'll try it, did y'all? What did y'all create? I'm, I'm very intrigued.
So I decided that I was going to wear her glueless. So I did end up using that elastic band. The elastic band is not adjustable, but you can always use those um, adjustable straps in the back to kind of tighten up the wig as well. How I feel about this Dominican curly wig. I love the texture. I love the style. I love this color. I love I love that these curls bounce back, baby. Even though the curls were able to snap back, be gentle with this unit, especially because she is curly. I really honestly do not have any cons with this unit. She did, of course, the minimum shedding and the tangling, but like I said, with some product or some type of defining product, she'll kind of snap right back. The texture of this unit, it did give off silky, but I don't think I would have wanted this in a yakky texture anyway. I just loved how the curls just fell. Just the whole construction of this unit is definitely a 10 out of 10. If I had to give a suggestion, I wish the elastic band was adjustable but yes usually i try to avoid curly synthetic wigs for the life of me y'all but this is a wig worth trying so if you guys enjoyed this review make sure you are giving me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos and kind of stick around for more content make sure you are pressing that subscribe button as well as that bell notification so you'll never miss none of my videos in the future i would like to thank outre for sending me this unit and like always, thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel. I appreciate y'all every single time. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.